This is the solution to WEX uh, 063. Uh, all right. <coughs> so uh, for this one, it's a, an integral. So of course, we want to use the fundamental theorem of calculus. Uh, so we want to find an antiderivative so that we can use the fundamental theorem. Uh, to find an antiderivative, <coughs> let's first uh, ask, is this uh, one of the known antiderivatives? And, uh, you know, just to uh, remind you, <coughs> uh, the known ones, we just know uh, exactly three in this class. Uh, we have the antiderivative of x to n dx is uh, <coughs> x to n plus 1 divide by n plus 1 plus a constant. Uh, of course, this works for any n except negative uh, 1. You can see that uh, if n were negative 1, that would be a division by 0. Uh, we also know in the specific case when that exponent is uh, negative 1, uh, we know <coughs> how to do that one as well, but it's just a lot different. So logarithm of absolute value of x plus a constant. Uh, and then uh, the last one that we know is that uh, antiderivative of the exponential of x is uh, the exponential of x plus a constant. So uh, the question, the first question that we're asking ourselves, is, it, uh, is this a known one? And it's asking, is it uh, exactly one of these three? Uh, and it's not. <coughs> Uh, the next question that uh, we ask ourselves is, can we do something algebraic <coughs> to uh, to make it uh, to make it work? And uh, the answer is, uh, in the end, no. I mean, we could combine the four x and the six in the numerator, but uh, this thing in the denominator, uh, we can't uh, accomplish anything algebraic with it. Uh, so then uh, the next uh, question we ask ourselves is that uh, can we do a variable, uh, so the answer to algebra was no. Uh, the next uh, thing is can we do a variable differential substitution? <coughs> okay, so uh, this is going to, the answer to this is going to turn out to be yes. <coughs> and uh, we'll do it like this, we'll say uh, u is uh, that thing in the denominator to x squared plus 1. du dx is uh, therefore 4x. But uh, we don't really want du dx. What we, uh, what we want is just uh, du. So du is uh, this, 4x dx. <coughs> uh, so then rewriting uh, that, uh, that integral just a little bit, uh, so that's integral 0 to 2. And then I'm going to write uh, 6 over <coughs> 2x squared plus 1 cubed. And then the 4x dx. So uh, writing it like that, what we're saying is that, uh, OK, we're going to we're going to take this u, and we're going to replace uh, all of that. And uh, then we're going to take <coughs> this du, and replace all of that. And uh, now I'm also going to deal with the limits. So then uh, specifically, when uh, when x is uh, 0, so when x is 0, uh, u is uh, 1. <coughs> and when x is uh, 2, u is, uh, well, that'd be 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So that'd be 9. <coughs> so uh, <coughs> you know, this information, 1 and 9, is going to replace, uh, you know, this bit. All right. So uh, all of that is the variable differential substitution. <coughs> so then continuing that, uh, 
we come to the following. It's, it is uh, the integral 1 to 9, <coughs> and then 6 over u cubed, du. And uh, now I'll just make a very minor uh, changes. I'll factor the 6 out. Uh, then I'll write uh, 1 over u cubed as u to negative 3 du, uh, like that. <coughs> so then now this is uh, one of the ones that we know. It's uh, that one with uh, n is negative uh, 3. So the answer is uh, 6 multiplied by u to negative 2, divide by negative 2, evaluated from 1 to 9. <coughs> Uh, so I'll do uh, 6 over negative 2 is uh, negative 3. And then I'm going to write uh, u to negative 2 is 1 over u squared. Evaluated from 1 to 9. Uh, and then finally to get rid of the negative, uh, I'm going to say that this is 3, 1 over u squared evaluated and uh, to make sure you don't uh, miss what I'm doing. So this negative is going away and the way I'm making the negative go away is I'm uh, going to change the, the order of the boundary evaluation. <coughs> uh, then now finally I'm going to do it. So this is 3 multiplied by, well, that'd be 1 over 1 because 1 squared is uh, 1 and then uh, I guess I'll just write the square, who cares. Uh, and then minus uh, 1 over, uh, uh, well, 81. So that's uh, squaring the 9. So this is 81 over 81, and that's 1 over 81. So uh, <coughs> this would be 3 multiplied by 80 over 81. <coughs> and then 81 is divisible by 3. Uh, so this would be, uh, what, 80 over 27. So that's uh, the answer to part, uh, part A. <coughs> For part B, <coughs> uh, so again, this is going to be a variable differential substitution for the exact same reasons. Uh, to make this look, uh, so I'll write that down, so it's a variable differential substitution for the same reasons. above. Uh, so to make this uh, look a little nicer, I'm going to write it as uh, the integral from 1 to 4. Uh, all right. So I'll put a, I'll put a 2 here. I'll leave that 2 here. And then write this as exponential of square root t, like so and then multiply by 1 over square root t dt. So I'm going to look at it uh, like that. <coughs> so now I'm going to do a, a substitution. Uh, and uh, because I already used the letter u up there, I'll use some different letter. I'll use, uh, how about to w? So w is uh, square root of t. Uh, therefore, <coughs> dw dt is uh, 1 over 2 square root t. Uh, so dw <coughs> is uh, 1 over 2 square root t dt. Now having a look at this, uh, we don't have um, 1 over 2 square root t dt, but we do have uh, 1 over square root t dt. So then I'll uh, move that 2 to the other side and get uh, 2 dw is 1 over square root t dt. 
So uh, what we're saying so far is that uh, is that uh, this W will replace uh, that. This two uh, DW will replace that. The two is uh, just fine. It doesn't need to be replaced. But uh, these limits are in terms of uh, T, so I'm going to change them to W. So W, when T is 1, so using uh, that, you know, this right here. And if it wasn't clear up uh, here, uh, these, you know, tell you how to do that. Uh, so when you plug in T is 1, you get uh, 1. And when you plug in T is 4, you get uh, 2. So uh, this information uh, is how we deal with this bit. So uh, making, making that substitution, the integral becomes uh, integral uh, 1 to 2. That 2 just hangs out, so it's still here. 2 exponential of uh, w. And then that green box is replaced with 2 dw. <coughs> so now I'll factor the, the 2 and the 2 out as a 4. So 4 integral 1 to 2 exponential of w dw. Uh, so that's... Uh, you know, to use the fundamental theorem of calculus, uh, we know that antiderivative, so this would be 4 exponential of w evaluated from 1 to 2. So that would be 4 uh, exponential of 2 minus uh, exponential of 1. And uh, that's the answer.